Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Danny James, and this is the series of me interviewing DKW talent. And my guest today is the one and only Vinny Daniels. How you doing, mate? Yeah, I've been all right. You know, I've not been in a squared circle for a while. I'm missing causing the pain. Not been on them demolitions yet, but who knows? I might turn up one day. Going to go there and cause a bit of a demolition, I suppose. Um, so, uh, just a quick one. So, uh, congratulations in order. First and foremost, you won Best Villain at the recent DKW Awards. Um, was there really any doubt of who was going to win that one? Or no. did you think it was going to be a shoe in Never, ever in doubt. Two years in a row, I've won it now. Let's be real. I'm the nastiest bastard on the roster. Wherever I go, I just beat people up. I'm not there to have, you know, five-star wrestling matches. That's not what I do. I just turn up, I'll get my kendo stick out, and I'll whack you around the end of it, and I'll pin you. And then once I've done that, if I'm feeling nice, I'll go out to the back. If I'm not, I'll smash your head in and cave your skull into the canvas. That's what I'm about. That's why I'm the best villain. It was never in doubt, mate. And so you're saying about uh, using your kendo stick. We've not really seen you on Demolition and we've not seen you use that kendo stick yet on there. So when you finally do uh, make an appearance on Demolition, have you got anybody in mind who you feel is going to be the first person to feel that kendo stick around their head? Yes. Yes, I do indeed. There's one obvious answer. When you think of DKW, you think of Vinnie Daniels because I've won everything. 11-time title holder, the most decorated champion in DKW history, apart from one, one title, the big one, the British title. And then the time I've been, I've been at DKW five, nearly six years. And guess how many times I've had a shot at that title? Twice? Once, one. Twice? Once. One shot in that time, and I deserved to win that match, and I was screwed out of it. And I think it's outrageous that I've not had more opportunities. So when I come back, whenever that may be, Lewis Barrett, there's a target on the back of your head and I'm lining my kendo stick up to smash you around the back of the head of it and take the title and become the first ever DKW Grand Slam champion. So you've got your sights firmly set on Lewis Barrett, but there is the small matter of Lewis Barrett taking on Sam Dufresne in the upcoming DKW British title match, which will take place obviously when we can get fans back in shows, um, do you have a prediction for that or does it not really matter to you? I don't care. I've got history with both of them. I've beaten Lewis Barrett for the standout trophy way back when. I've beaten him when it matters. I've beaten Dufresne for the chaos title. Both of them have lost to me. Both of them have fallen to me. They're great athletes. I'll take nothing away from them. I'm not the kind of guy who's going to bury an opponent and say, yeah, it'll be a walkover. It'll be, you know, easy because there ain't no easy matches. Let's be real, okay? We're all athletes. We're all here to do a job, all right? I have beaten them. I've got that psychological advantage. When we get in that ring, when it comes to winning, I will stop at nothing. Whether that be punishing my opponent or putting my own body on the line, I will stop at nothing. So whether it be Lewis Barrett, whether it be Dufresne, the title is firmly in my sights. And for the final question, really, was, um, and you've probably covered it already, but your goals for 2021 in DKW, is that good? Is it pretty simply just to either get a shot at the title or to actually like just take a shot at the title. What, you know, what can we, it's not just to have a shot because the shot is what I deserve. That's not a target <clears throat> on my list. Okay. Because I deserve a shot. I deserve more than opportunity. Okay. There are people in this company who've had chance after chance, after chance, after chance, and they blew it every single time. And they keep getting handed chances. Now me, the most decorated champion, as we've already established, only having one shot, it's bollocks. Excuse my friends, but it is bollocks. All right? I deserve more chances. So that's not even a target because a target would imply that's something I've got to work towards. I don't need to work towards that. I already deserve it. My target is to when, not if, when I get that opportunity, is to win the title. And then once I've got it, it's to cave as many skulls as I can afterwards. Because once I've got that title, I will not let go of it. Okay, so it looks like whoever is going to be winning that match has definitely got a big target on their back or the back of their head with um, for your kendo stick. And yeah, we look forward to obviously to seeing you when you finally do debut on Demolition, uh, obviously when it's uh, safe in the world to do so. Um, just finally, um, your prediction for that match, do you 
have a prediction of who you reckon's gonna win it or I don't care. I really don't care. To be honest with you, I'll take them both on in a triple threat. It doesn't bother me. Who's gonna win? You know, Dufresne's a huge guy, he's a monster. But Barrett, you know, he's not the tallest, but he's you know, he's a strong lad. I'll give people credit where it's deserved. They're both great athletes, but I can beat them both. And whoever's got that title, whoever wins that match, they shouldn't be celebrating. They should not be celebrating because what I've got in store for that winner of that match, it's not pretty. They will they will likely go to hospital. Okay. Sounds like a, a really daunting task for whoever's going to win that match. Eyes in the back of their heads they're going to need, I guess. Um, but yeah, so that really is everything for now. Um, just want to say thank you for your time. I'm sure you're a very busy man. Um, you know, I appreciate you speaking to us. Um, unless there's anything else you want to add, um, that's pretty much it from me. No, thank you for having me. It's been emotional. No problem. Take care. And thank you guys for watching. Um, again, please make sure that you stay safe throughout all of this that's going on at the moment in the world. And we look forward to welcoming you back inside that squared circle when it is safe to do so.